Playboy was a, a nucleus, a mecca, for people who wanted to leverage their position and to be there and find the movers and shakers, that was number one. Dorothy's boyfriend, Paul Snyder, desperately wants to be a mover and shaker in Hollywood. When Paul comes down from Vancouver, Dorothy takes him to a party at the Playboy Mansion, and he can't wait to meet the magazine mogul who he thinks can make him and Dorothy very rich and very famous. Let's meet later, okay? I, I gotta go talk to Jimmy Kahn before it gets too late and he gets distracted. Of course. At that same Halloween party, Dorothy gets the attention of Peter Bogdanovich, the Academy Award-winning director of The Last Picture Show. Peter, how are you? Good, good. Huh? I gotta run, but uh, you know Dorothy, right? and they can't take their eyes off of each other. Like Peter, Hugh Hefner sees that there's more to Dorothy than just a pretty face and helps her find work as an actress. He knows that that will help sell more magazines. Playboy was a big deal then. I've had two Playmates of the Year in two different movies. Remember, Marilyn Monroe was the first cover of Playboy magazine. But Marilyn Monroe had this kind of innocence to her and there's childlike quality to her. The thing about Dorothy, she had the same kind of innocence. 